Hey there, and welcome to Noctis on YouTube. The majority of global trade, approximately 90%, is conducted through sea transportation using cargo ships that transport shipping containers filled with various goods. These containers serve as storage units and are essential in ensuring the safety and protection of the goods during transport. Here is a brief summary of the process involved in producing and transporting containers for cargo ships. Containers are utilized as a means of transporting goods and can be used in various modes of transportation, such as trucks, railways, and container ships. There are different types of containers available for shipping purposes, including dry storage containers. The most frequently used type of container for business activities is dry storage, which can store almost any dry cargo and has only one access door. Dry storage containers can be used to ship goods by sea, land, or air. In addition, there is also the river container, a type of container that is commonly used in the food and medical industries. This container is equipped with a refrigeration system that functions to maintain the quality of the cargo loaded inside. Often we see cargo ships carrying stacked containers towering upwards, but these containers do not fall off even when the ship is hit by large waves. The process of creating shipping containers for cargo ships is not done haphazardly. Prior to the manufacturing process, the central planar container port will create a general storage plan, which is a layout of the container load planning on the cargo ship. The layout of the container load planning is calculated based on the size, weight, destination, and carrying capacity of the ship. The general storage plan has benefits, such as improving the efficiency of loading and unloading time on the ship and minimizing accidents on the shipping containers and cargo ships during the loading process. After the planning stage, the shipping containers are transported using a crane at the port to be loaded onto the cargo ship. When loading the containers onto the cargo ship, they are loaded from the bottom first and then stacked on top of each other. In the cargo storage area of the ship, there are cell guides that function to assist in placing the containers to match the ship's capacity and to secure the containers to remain stable in place. Once the storage space is filled with containers, they are covered with heads covers. The heads cover is used to cover the hatch opening on the cargo ship. After the heads cover is closed, the top of the cover is loaded again with shipping containers. For the containers loaded on top of the cover, workers will install lashing gear, which is a safety device on the ship that functions to tie down the containers to prevent them from falling during rough sea conditions. The containers are tied using steel bars on the corner fittings, which are then tightened with turnbuckles. Additionally, when containers are stacked up to three levels, a tris lock will be placed. The corner fittings will have twice locks installed by the workers, and when the containers are placed, the twist lock will lock them to the container below. The passing grade system consists of several tools, such as the firing shot, lashing bar, long lashing bar, and twist lock, or a locking system for shipping containers. These tools can work manually, and there are also automatic twist locks depending on the location where the containers are placed. Once all the containers are loaded and locked, a special cargo ship officer will check periodically to ensure that the containers are properly tied and locked. 
The process of manufacturing shipping containers consists of several stages. Firstly, the preparation of materials for container manufacturing, which involves steel rolls. The steel rolls are cut into predetermined sizes using a cutting machine. The steel sheets then go through a process of sandblasting and priming. The steel plates are sprayed with materials such as silica sand or steel grit at high pressure to remove contaminants such as rust, salt, oil, and others. This process is done to ensure the steel plates are clean and free from any contaminants before the next stage of manufacturing. The next stage is the corrugation process. In this process, the steel plates are shaped into a corrugated pattern. The purpose of this corrugated pattern is to make the steel plates strong enough to withstand tension or pressure. The steel plates are formed into the container's walls, doors, panels, roof, and floor, where each part has a different profile shape. After that, the steel plates for the walls are assembled with the top rail and bottom rail through welding. The structure for the container's floor is also connected through welding. Next is the construction of the corner posts. In this process, corner fittings are installed where the hollow square shape will function as a locking point to prevent the container from falling during transportation or as a hooking point when lifting the container. Finally, the container's doors are installed and welded into place with the other parts that were previously made to form the complete container. Once the container is completed, the next step is the initial coating process in a special room. After the base layer is applied, the container will be coated again with paint. After the painting process, the container's floor will be installed. Workers will install wood as the flooring on the bottom of the container. Then, a waterproof layer made of rubber is installed on the container's door. When finished, the container is coated with an anti-leak layer on the bottom. After the container is fully assembled, it is placed in a special room for leak testing. Workers will spray water on the container and check its quality results before it is sent for use. This is the process of manufacturing and transporting shipping containers for cargo ships. It should be noted that this process is not done only once, but repeatedly every time the cargo ship carries out a shipment. All of these processes are done carefully to ensure that the shipping container can function properly in keeping the goods safe during transportation. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.